Hello everyone, happy holidays. I think this is the last show. Now, this is going to be the best show, you know that, don't you? Yeah. The best one's always no. the last I, uh, one's always the best one. And, uh, I've, over the years, I've, I, I used to start with a card trick. But someone told me recently that people suffer from fear of card tricks. It's a, it's a condition called borophobia. <laughs> Kelly, do you suffer from that? It's very scary, very scary. And I thought, if I'm, if I'm going to, you know, I don't want to subject you to too much pain early on. I thought I'd wait till you're warmed up. You know, so um, so I won't do a card trick to start off with. But I found that if you uh, if you bring out some cold hard cash, well. people don't seem that worried about it. They like money. Um, unfortunately, this is just one dollar bills. We've got one, two, three, four, five of them. And um, Jeff, just just is that is that a real dollar bill? I just that, that is. Yeah. All right. And um, we really do have one, two, three, four, five bucks. The problem is, when I started doing this trick 30 years ago, you could buy a lot more with 30 bucks. Not so much, maybe you can buy a cup of coffee now. Let's see if we can get two cups of coffee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bucks. Audrey's not looking very impressed, is she? See, the, 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 the problem is, you see, it's the ones. You can never get past the ones. If you see the ones, can you see the ones? Wherever you look, there's ones. There's ones here, look, there's ones there. They're always ones. But if, they, if we had hundreds, oh, that would be a little nice. different, wouldn't it? Now can you I'm see? Here. That nice. would, suddenly the trick gets interesting. Is that a real hundred dollar bill, Jeff? You might check her. That is, I don't know. You see, so now we have, nice. we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 bucks. And we do a little bit more than just buy a cup of coffee, can't we? That's All true. right, thank you. Very now, nice. when I was a kid, I used to go to the movies all the time. Um, and I still like the movies, but I don't go as much. And I, I don't think, it, it's not because I don't want to go to the theater, it's just there's not so many movies I want to see. But I, I've collected a whole bunch of movies that I loved when I, was, when I was younger. And I thought I'd show you a few of them just to reminisce. All right, so for instance, um, my, one of my all-time favorite movies is Back to the Future. Every time I watch this movie, have you seen this movie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Every time I see this movie, I'm happy, you know. And uh, Michael J. Fox, who was Marty McFly, was, he was the coolest guy, all right? And I, I saw this in, when I was back in England, and I remember lining up, I was so excited to see. And see, Marty McFly, he could play the electric guitar, you know, he got the girl, he had the nice, nice truck, you know, it was just amazing, and he went back in time, which yeah, was really another cool thing, by the way. And uh, it just, it, I, I guarantee you, this is one of the reasons I wanted to come to America. I was so excited. I thought, this is America, I've got to come, I've got to get there. And it took me five years, but I got here eventually. Um, another movie that I thought was really cool when I was growing up was a movie called Star Wars. Now, Star Wars, when I first, it's, I think it came out in 75, and I sat down in the movie theater, and I watched it with a bunch of friends, and the movie was so enthralling, I just sat there and watched the movie again. My friends left me, I was on my own. My mom and dad were mad, but it was just so exciting. And I remember when I saw that movie, you remember that episode four thing, the one V that was right at the very beginning? Yep. And back then we had no clue what that meant. You know, and they often say that, that George Lucas was this creative genius, you know, because he created this whole universe. But talk about a marketing genius, he had such a long range plan, didn't he? To have that many movies lined up, very impressive. Jaws, when Jaws came out, half the beaches were empty. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine a movie that powerful? I'm not going in the water. No, it's not going to happen. Very scary. But there's a whole bunch of movies here. Now, Kelly, they're all, and they're all different. If you could, you, you like could just take those movies. Oh, just all take, of them? Yeah, take them. Um, and you, actually, you can hand some to someone yeah. else if you want, but we'll, I'm going to look away. Okay. And it's, firstly, make sure they are all different. I'm not, I'm not making this up. Oh, yeah, they're, they're very, they're and very I'm gonna, different. I'm, I'm, tr I'm standing back this way, so there's no way I can see anything that's going on. All right, and I have no electronic devices. It's just me, okay. just a little Andy in the corner. Got it. It's a position I'm very used to. Go to the corner, Andy. Okay, now, I want you to find a movie that you, you like. You can like it, you can hate it, but it's something that resonates with you. Okay. And look at that picture and just try to spend a couple of seconds just thinking about that movie. Got it. All right, now, on the, if you can turn, turn that card over. All right, turn the card over, and on the back you can see a list of movies. I do, yes. In that list, your movie is there, all right? Yes. And I want you to read that list now, but you can re read the list in any order. But once you get to your movie, make sure your voice doesn't change. All right, so you can read it in any order you want. 
Um, any but, order I want? Any order, but you have to read them all out. Okay, I can but, do that. But, but when you get to your movie, don't change your voice, because I don't want any clues. Remember, okay. Think of it as a lie detector. Okay, you okay. ready? All right, I'm ready. Dr. Chicago, The Princess Bride, Psycho, Shawshank Redemption, Back to the Future, Godfather, Gone with the Wind, Bambi, Fargo, Singing in the Rain, Jaws, Star Wars, The Graduate, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Casablanca, Pulp Fiction. Now the problem, there's so many classic movies there, I, I keep thinking of these different scenes. But I feel like this movie, whew, it's cold. Is it cold? I think it's cold. Um, yeah. Is it, uh, they have a funny accent up there, don't they? Uh, is it Fargo? Yes, it is Fargo. Okay. Do you want to try another one, Kelly? Or do you want to give a card to someone else? You want to try Audrey? Sure. All right, Audrey's going to try. All right, Audrey. Okay, Audrey. All right. Now, just focus on the movie first, Audrey. Just focus on one. Get it, get it, let it, let, you know, let your mind soak it in. You got it? All right, yes. turn the card over. Okay. Okay, and okay. On, that, on, the, on that list, there's your cup. You, you can read them in any order, but when you get to your movie, don't change your voice. It's very okay. key. Okay, okay, far away. All right, Star Wars, Casablanca, The Godfather, Shawshank Redemption, Princess Bride, Singing in the Rain, National Lampoon's Vacation, Pulp Fiction, Back to the Future, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Gone with the Wind, The Graduate, Psycho, Jaws, uh, Are we there? Bambi, oh. <laughs> you're, Dr. You're, Zhivago. You're, you're, you're messing with me. You're messing, <laughs> all right. Are we, can we stop? I don't know if we can stop or not. You got me very confused. Um, did I confuse you or did you confuse me? I can't remember. Um, <laughs> all right. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh, you're still going? See in the Rain. Did, did, you don't have to do them. Are you reading them twice? I'm not sure. I think, I think, she's got, I think she got them all. Okay. Oof. Oof. Um, just making it a little tricky. Now, let's hope this was a comedy, because I, after this I need a comedy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, so, the movie we watch every year for Christmas is in features Clark and is it does this feature Clark is this oh, National yes. Lampoon <laughs> National Lampoon's vacation? Yes. It is? Oh, oh, nice. Alright, so we try one more one more. Okay. Pass it to someone. Yeah, pass it to someone else. I need a drink of water. <laughs> Who's got the cards? Uh, I've got cards, Patrick. Alright Patrick. Okay Patrick. Alright, you ready for it? Park, park your hair, Patrick. Park your hair so you can see. Alright, let's part it. Alright, good boy. Alright. <laughs> okay. We are gonna go with. Now, did you, did you focus on the movie first? You gotta, you gotta spend yes. a couple of seconds just to get it in your mind. Just well, I, in the front. Alright, alright. Okay, you're gonna try to catch me. Alright, here we go. We got Godfather, Casablanca, Jaws, Gone with the Wind, The Graduate, Psycho, Star Wars, Bambi, Shawshank Redemption. The Matrix, Doctor Zhivago, Singing in the Rain, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Princess Bride, Pulp Fiction, and Back to the Future. Now, are you happy with the way you read that? Yes. Do you think you gave me any clues? I don't think so. I don't think you did either. <laughs> um, you know, so I'm getting a sense. I spend my whole day looking at a computer screen, but I don't look at a, a mind, I always look at consoles. And I, 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 I get the sense of a, I, have, I always use a black and green console. Um, and I see all these green numbers. Is this the matrix? It sure is. <laughs> okay, all right guys. Very nice. All right, let's, let's let's see where we were. Okay, um, now, here we are in 2023, aren't we? And we are using the internet more. You can get, get coming closer again, people. Okay. <laughs> We're using the internet more than any time in the, in, the, in the future. In fact, about 30 years ago, pretty much everyone in this room was either not born or they'd never heard of the internet. You know, it's taken on. But here's what's scary about the internet. It's not just, not that we use it, not that we rely on it so heavily, but also, um, 
we have all these devices that have all this disk and RAM and memory, but most of the time it's not even on our device. It's, they store it in the cloud, don't they? And what is the cloud? It's a disk at the end of the internet somewhere. It's not even on our phone anymore. Isn't that kind of scary? Because there are some problems with the internet. I've got, this is, you know what, this is, this is a mock-up of the internet, all right? We've got a blue pom-pom and a yellow pom-pom, a red pom-pom and a green pom-pom. Try saying that after a few beers, probably. <laughs> and um, now, obviously, this is a this is a mock-up. The, the real the real internet has billions of pom poms. Does it say billions or trillions? At least billions. At least billions. Yes, that's a lot of pom poms, isn't it? But for, I only need four for this demonstration. So, one of the things that people complain about the internet is some sites are really slow. Have you ever have you gone to a slow site before? Not a digital cheetah sites. Never. Please. Never. Um, I'm going to explain why some sites are slow. All right, so let's say I want to go from the blue pom pom to the yellow pom pom. Can you see that? Look at that. See how quick that is? Zip, zip. Hello. <laughs> zip. Very quick, isn't it? It's because you see, there's a direct connection between the blue pom pom and the yellow pom pom. But let's say I wanted to go to the green pom pom. All right. Look what happens. You go from the blue to the yellow, and you go this pipe. This pipe is what we call the internet backbone. It goes across the pipe down to the green pom-pom, back up to the yellow pom-pom, and finally back to the blue pom-pom. You see how that took longer? Let's try the red pom-pom. Look, we've got the blue, down to the yellow, over the backbone, down to the green, up to the red, back down to the green, over the backbone, finally down to the yellow, and finally back to the blue. Surely at that point you've clicked away, haven't you? Now, luckily, with cash-in and advanced browsers, you know, you can move around pretty freely on the internet. And most of the time, you don't even know where you, it's all very smooth. It's all, you know, you go from the blue to the green to the red. It really makes no difference where you go. But, you know what happens sometimes? The other big problem with the internet is, you're watching a movie, streaming something, and suddenly it freezes right at the most important part. And you get that stupid clock comes up. That's the clock's not helping anyone, is it? And or you click, you go to the, you click, you click on an image. You want to get a bigger image, and it's a broken image. Or the one we all hate. You go to a web page, and you see the white screen of death. Mm. We don't like those, do we? Yeah. Now, what happens there is you get two connections fire at the exact same time, and they clash in the middle. Do you know about that? You didn't know this was going to be educational, did you? The problem is when you look inside, there's no help. There's no help on the internet. <laughs> We're kind of screwed, aren't we, at this point? So, what do they say when this happens? They say, turn off your browser, clear your cache, and if you're lucky, you'll be surfing again before you know it. You'll be going from the red to the yellow to the green all over. But, and here's the word of advice, as much fun as it is going on the internet, don't spend all day on the internet. Take your dog for a walk, have, you know, read a book, have coffee with friends. Thank you. Okay, now. Now that we've warmed you up, we're going to do a card trick. Let's do it. All right? We're going to do, actually, it's not just any card trick, it's my favorite card trick, right? This is Little Bunny's card trick. Would you like to help me with Little Bunny's card trick? <laughs> do you want to get, get a little closer? Well, yeah, you'll have, you're going to have to, you'll have to re read the word. She'd, she'd be too. But you can, what's your name? Joanne. Joanne, all right, Joanne. Say so as my sister. Now, little bunny, he needs a deck of cards. And he can't actually do, he can't manipulate the cards because he's a cartoon character in a book. But, can you see, if you, so you're going to have to help me here, Joanne. If you can see, we have a deck of cards. Can you see they're all different? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to break this deck into one, two, three, four roughly equal parts. Now you're going to choose a pile, I'm going to choose a pile, and then we're going to discard the other two. So which pile would you like, Joanne? That one there? Okay. And I'll choose uh, this pile here, and we get rid of these two. Alright, now, can you shuffle that pile? I'm not going to touch the cards now, because I don't want to collude with Little Bunny. So you can shuffle those cards. All right, and put them down, shuffle those cards. It's very important that I don't touch the cards because people accuse me. Audrey's accused me, aren't you? That's so Audrey. All right, now, I want you to cut some cards off the top of this pile here. Just cut, just cut a few off. Oh, cut a few off? Yes, and turn them face up and place them in front of this pile here. And do the same thing, cut some cards off this pile. 
Turn the face up and place in front of this pile. Yeah. Okay. Now, join the piles. Just combine. Yep. Just no, just no, no. Just mix them up. So that's it. That's right. We're trying to mess the cars up to, to confuse all the money. Do the same thing here. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now, cut those. Just give those cards a quick cut, cut and complete the cuts. And complete the cuts. And do the same here. All right. Now pick up a pile, turn it, turn it over, and place it on top of this pile. And cut the cards one more time. Cut it up. Yeah, complete and complete the cut. All right. Now, would you say we've done a good job in me messing up the cards? Yeah. Not a bad job, is it? Nice work. Right. Nice work. Now, now a little bunny's going to take over. All right. Now I'm going to read the words. This is a Little Bunny's Card Trick by Bill Golden. I'm going to read the words, but I want you to read along with me, make sure I don't cheat. Make sure I, don't, I do whatever's here I'm saying. So, this one says, look. Now, the key thing is you've done the work, I you, know, you did all that mixing. Um, one day, Little Bunny found a box of playing cards and he threw them on the floor. Can we say anger management issues? I think he's got... Anger management issues. All right, let's have a look. Little Bunny counted exactly 13 face-up cards. Now, hang on, that's very specific, isn't it? You did all the work. How would he know there were 13? Do you think? I think he's guessing. Do you think he's guessing? I think he's a guess, isn't it? Let's have what we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen face-up cards. How is he doing this? You did all the work. You cut the cards, you shuffled the cards. You, I mean, this is crazy, isn't it? I don't understand. This is a bit more of a, bit more of a puzzler now, isn't it? A bit more of a page turner. S seven cards were black and six were red. Now, again, very specific. I'm, I'm not making these words up, am I? How is he doing that? Let's just see how well he did. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven black cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is impossible, isn't it? One, two, three, hello. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven and six. This is like a Grisham novel almost, isn't it? Let's have a look. Little Bunny saw that all the black cards were clubs. How is that possible? How can they all be clubs? They can't. They can't be, can they? I mean, that's zero chance. Just because you painted it all on the page doesn't mean they're all clubs, Little Bunny. We've got a club. Club. Club, yeah. Now, hang on. Huh? Club? How is he doing this? Club? This is crazy, isn't it? Oh! Uh -oh. A little bunny. Bunny. That bunny. He was it. so close. Wasn't it? They were all clubs. Except the four. I'm sorry, little bunny. Except the four! Are you kidding me? Look, there's the four of spades. And look, look at this nice page. And we all live happily ever after. Well, that is nice, isn't it? Thank you so much, everyone. Have a very, very happy Christmas and a happy holidays. Merry Christmas for everyone.